going on everyone we are going to head to the fish store and we're going to go get some live feeders to feed the fishes and we're going to see what kind of fish they may have gotten in today today's friday they got a fish order in i'm sure so we're going to check it out see what they have there and well we'll find out trying to find a trailer so i can pick up the tank tomorrow but uh you all does not have any trailers available at the moment so trying to find someone i know that might have a trailer or a truck big enough that we can load it up into and get home tomorrow my neighbor's got a trailer there but it's not long enough it's only an eight foot trailer the tank is nine foot long that gate on it does not come off so that's an issue so we gotta figure something out <sighs> well i just spent too much money again uh y'all just wait till you see what I got. Y'all gonna be so happy. I'm so happy. There was another fish that I really freaking wanted so bad, but I couldn't get it right now. I didn't want to swing the money, but if it's there uh, Tuesday or Wednesday when I get paid, I will be buying it. And if, oh, just wait. Y'all just wait. Anyways, let's get to the house and get these taken care of. Peace. We are back at the house, everyone. Let's get these fish inside and get them acclimated and let's get them quarantined. Because I am not putting them in the big tank because in about a week the quarantine will be over in the big tank and all new fish that I get now will be going in a separate quarantine tank for at least a month so let's go we're in the fish room yeah <laughs> all right let's get these uh well these fish not these fish let's get this fish inside the quarantine tank this is the quarantine tank room we're using for now um I need to check the salinity level in it, make sure the salinity is good. I gotta fill up with some water and I'm gonna check the parameters in it, make sure that everything's good before I get him in there. And that's where he's gonna stay for about a month. I'm gonna dose it with corn or a uh, copper. Corn I'm gonna dose it with copper too, because I don't have any copper in that right now. All the copper is in that tank right now, because that was the quarantine tank because everyone in there was sick. So the copper is gonna be coming out of that tank in about a week. So that's not gonna be a long enough quarantine for him to make sure that there's absolutely no parasites that's gonna go in this tank when I put him in there. Uh, so we're going to put him in there and leave him in there for a month and that will very well get rid of any type of parasite that he may have or may be carrying before we put him in here. That way we can eradicate all the parasites before we go into this tank. That way if anybody does get stressed out in this tank or their immune system drops, they will not break out in any type of parasite. Because if you eradicate the parasite before it gets into the tank, you don't have to worry about it. You're good to go. All you got to do worry about is the fish getting stressed out and not wanting to eat. So let's get right into it. Let's get him in the tank to acclimate him with the temperature. And then I'll check all the parameters and make sure all the parameters are good before I actually put him inside of the tank. So hope y'all like this video. Make sure y'all hit that thumbs up button for me, please. I'm at 938 subscribers. We're getting there. We're so close. I'm almost to the thousand mark. Love y'all. Thank y'all so much. All right, I couldn't pass it up, y'all. We're on our way back to the fish door. Um, yeah, I I couldn't let nobody get this thing out from underneath me. I told them I was going to be back there Tuesday or Wednesday to buy it, but I just had a bad feeling that it'd be gone before I got back to get it. So, we're going to go in here, and we're going to buy it. Then I replace the money. Oh, this is going to hurt. Oh, it's going to hurt. I don't care. Anyways, y'all wait to see what we're picking up. It's a super rare fish <laughs> oh so excited here we go all right so Brian, let's there he get is, guys. your blue line trigger brian <laughs> so excited what's up valor oh my gosh so excited look at him he's gonna be awesome i'm so excited Look at that guy. Look at him. Alright y'all, let's get him to the house. Peace. Alright, here we are. We're back home. Let's go get him acclimated and get him in here with the uh, blue line group. I was going to say Zeus. That's what my other blue line group was named. We got to call him something else. Oh, y'all drop a like on this. Oh, here we go. We're in the fish room. And we have the trigger. Let's get this boy in here with the blue line. And get him temperature acclimated as well. As soon as both of those are temp acclimated, we'll get them both drip acclimated. And we will get these guys in the quarantine tank. 
I've already checked the salinity level. The salinity level's fine. I know there's no ammonia or anything like that in there. There's no been no fish in there. So we'll have to keep an eye on it though as I add these fish because there hasn't been any bio load in there and this will add a bio load. So we're gonna keep it on the tank, make sure there's no issues with the ammonia or anything like that. But they should be fine after we get the copper in there. So woo, I'm gonna go ahead and dose it, get them acclimated, and we're back. In the meantime, let's go ahead and get these over here. Watch everyone go crazy. That's some big trout. Oh, yes. Bumblebee got one. Rock, I mean, Rock Steady or Bumblebee. Which one? Oh, yeah. Bumblebee, Rock Steady. Oh, yeah. They're nailing them. Get them. Where's Walter at? Oh, he's on the back side over there. Back side of the rock. Y'all get them. I know y'all gonna get fooled now. I know AJ, the rooster fish over here, is gonna get him some too. My enemies are doing great. Woo! Everybody's going crazy. Can't wait to get the blue line trigger and the blue line grouper in the tank. Oh my gosh. And we are so close to a thousand subscribers, y'all. We're getting there, we're getting there. Thank y'all for all the dedication. I'm trying to put those videos out there for y'all to keep y'all entertained. I hope y'all like them. Drop likes on these for me. Let me know. Drop some comments. Everyone's going nuts. Look, I'm chasing the shrimp. Oh my gosh. I'm getting so excited. I'm getting the tanks back and going. Job is going well. Not the greatest job in the world, but hey, you know, it pays the bills. Decent money. You know, if to get paid a little bit more, it'd be great, but you know, I'll work my way up there. Anyways, let's let these guys eat. Let's get the fish acclimated, and we shall return. All right, y'all, it's that time. Let's get these guys into the buckets, and let's get these suckers drip acclimated so we can get them inside of the quarantine tank. So first is the blue line grouper. Oh, yeah. So if y'all have been following my channel, you would know that in the past, I already had one of these guys and I lost him to velvet and a bacterial infection. Uh, this one is not going to happen like that. I took care of all that and we have eradicated everything inside of the display tank. So now no worries on any diseases or bacteria. Uh, so there he is inside the acclimation bucket. We'll get the drip line set up in one second. And we'll get him drip acclimated. So the the actual star of this video is coming up now. Kind of hard to see right here in the bag. When we get him in here, he's a stunner. Alright. I know that y'all seen probably the a little bit of the clip from the fish store. Y'all already know what this is. But y'all didn't really get a good. He's trying to stay in the bag. <laughs> He's biting the bag. <laughs> He's biting. There he goes. Alright. You didn't get a really good view of him, but you will now. Ooh. Oh my god. Yep, yep, yep. Come here, buddy. Ooh, easy, easy. 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 Don't bite me. That is a blue line trigger. Very beautiful fish and very rare. Let's get him in here so he doesn't stress out. Alright, now we're gonna get the drip acclimation set up and we'll get them drip acclimated and we'll get them in the quarantine tank. I gotta do one more test on the copper to make sure the copper isn't too high so it doesn't shock them when they go in and we're gonna go. Peace! Everyone's acclimated. Let's get them in the tank. Let me clean this lens. <laughs> that looks better. All right, here we go. Look how beautiful that fish is. Blue line group are going in right now to the quarantine tank. 
There he goes. Look at how beautiful he is. And for the star of the show, please don't get all crazy on me, man. Easy, buddy. Easy. Easy, easy, easy. Here we go. And that beautiful blue line trigger. There he goes. Gosh. Look at these beautiful fish. They're in their new quarantine home. It's only temporary. Only for a month. Once they're good, they're going in. Yeah, you know it. Right behind me. And then, of course, that full hunter. Bringing it tomorrow, I hope. Alright, everyone. This is the day we're picking it up. Gosh, I can't wait. You walk that door there. Woo! So this is it. It's massive, huh? That's fucking big. And here is the stand. Woo! Alright, everyone. This is the day we're picking it up. Gosh, I can't wait. You walk that door there. So this is it. It's massive, huh? That's fucking big. And here is the stand. We are in Life Flint, everyone. We're on the trailer, ready to go. We're gonna get her to the house. We're gonna build a little while before we get it set up. We're gonna cut and buff it, make sure it's all nice and crystal clear, and make sure everything's perfect before anything goes in it. So, y'all stick around. It's at the house, everyone. The only problem is that stand. Is not going through that door. <laughs> so we're going to take the stand off and we're going to stage it on the porch for now. And then we're going to take the tank and get it inside and put it over there next to the wall where the dining room is. So I can't record everything right now because it's going to be a pain in the rear end. But I will record as we are doing it little by little and show you how it's done. So y'all stay tuned. All right, everyone, it is off the trailer. The stand is off the trailer. Up against the house, so if y'all ever plan on moving tanks with just a very few minimum people in their giant, watch the trick right there with PVC pipe. I've showed y'all this before in videos, but this is how you very easily move a giant tank and stand with minimal amount of people. So we're almost in. As soon as we get it in, we'll get this finished up. The tank is inside. Woo! Yes. It is massive. Oh my god, what was that? Oh, okay, that was garbage. Anyways, so woo here it is, everyone. Good gosh, look at the size of that tank. So it is nine feet long, a little over nine feet long, like a hair over nine feet long, uh, 33 and three quarter inches wide, and just a hair over two feet tall. So it is roughly 400 gallons. I am so excited to get this set up. It's gonna be a little while because I gotta buff this thing out. It does have some scratches on it because it is acrylic. And you see it's a little bit clouded because of the scratches on the inside of the tank. So I'm gonna get some compound and we're gonna buff this thing out, make sure that it is crystal clear before I get it set up. That way it looks immaculate when the water goes in there. Anyhow, I just wanted to do an update inside of this little video that we're making right here about the tank getting inside the house. Um, of course, from the other clips, you see that how we were moving it. It isn't as heavy as glass, thank God. That 250 over there was way, it was probably twice as heavy as this 400 gallon acrylic tank. Anyhow, I really appreciate y'all watching. Stay tuned, because we ain't done yet.